developing news in an Austin courtroom, a man set to learn his fate for a downtown crash that caused serious injuries. The Travis County jury has reached a verdict in the hit and run trial of a man accused of driving drunk and crashing into a former University of Texas soccer player. And Nicholas Kalunga was found guilty on three separate charges, including aggravated assault, intoxication assault, and two counts of failure to stop and render aid. KXAN's Omar Lewis is live outside the Travis County Justice Center now with the very latest. Omar. Good evening, Leslie and Robert. It took this jury less than four hours to come up with that guilty verdict. Right now, this trial has gone into the punishment phase where both the families of Kylie Doniak and the family of the defendant, Nicholas Kalunga, will take the stand. Emotions ran high on both sides of this Travis County courtroom as the verdict was read. We, the jury, find the defendant, Nicholas Kalunga, guilty of... Nicholas Kalunga guilty of three separate charges. His family began to cry before quickly leaving the room. Kali Doniak's mom quickly flashed a smile before grabbing her daughter's hand. Before closing arguments began, attorneys started by breaking down the charges for jurors. Charges that stem from a crash in February of 2012. The prosecution says the Chevy Impala Nicholas Kalunga was driving plowed through the intersection of 8th Street and San Jacinto. The car struck a group of pedestrians, one of which was former UT soccer player Kylie Doniak. You do not get to pick and choose once you commit crimes of what you should be charged with. Kalunga has pled guilty to intoxication assault, but prosecutors argued he's also guilty of two counts of failure to stop and render aid, as well as aggravated assault. The difference in charges centers around Kalunga's intent. Defense attorneys say he was too drunk to know what he was doing. The state wants to argue, well, but, but you know, he knew. Okay, well, their words are not evidence. What evidence was presented? Before jurors took the case, prosecutors played surveillance video from the scene one last time. A key piece of evidence that likely played a role in the jury's decision. If you are so drunk, you don't even know what you're doing, why all of a sudden are you breaking right before you hit three people? Here is the breakdown for those charges. The aggravated assault charge could mean two to 20 years in jail, or the jury could sentence Kalunga with probation. Now, the intoxication assault charge, as well as the two counts for failure to stop and render aid, all have a possible jail time of two to 10 years. Probation is also an option there. Now, as we said, the jury is now listening to witnesses on the stand during this punishment phase. Right now, Kalunga's former prosecution and his former probation officer is talking to the jury. For now, we're live from the Travis County Justice Complex. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.